Hi everybody, it's Nick Proctor here, UK Sales Manager for Colour World Imaging. On this how-to video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to order one of our fantastic portfolio boxes. Please go to our Colour World Imaging website and follow this link here to our online ordering option. This will open our Colour World Rose Web and straight away it will ask you for your account number and your password. The account number is the eight digit number that we sent you back when you registered on Colour World Imaging's website or it could be your email address. That's me, and the password I used is this. I'm going to log on, and hopefully up here, it will say, hello, Nick. Fantastic. Right, the portfolio boxes are under the presentation tab. Click on that, and you will see it gives you various options of box, a box and 15 matted prints, or a box and 10 matted prints. Just for uh, demo purposes, I'm going to create a box with 10 matted prints. The size of the box I'm going to order, I have options here, but I'm going to order today a 10 by eight box. I'm going to order a 10 by eight photo cover box and some 10 by eight matted prints with an eight by six image. So let's get this sorted. The images I'm going to use have already created in my test images file on my laptop, portfolio box, how to images, open them up and select them all. Open and they will populate down here at the bottom. Because I've created a photo box cover and I want to, I need to choose the image I'm going to use on the cover of the box. I happen to know it's the last one in there. In there. I click on there and it populates itself. What I can do if I particularly want, which I do want, is mess about with the image, play around, move it around a little bit. But what I do want is just there because you can see this is the fold, this is the crease. So I know this will be on the front cover and everything else will be folded around the sides of the box. So I'm just going to bring her up there a little bit. There, her hair will be across the spine and various wisps of hair will be on the base of the box. That's exactly how I want it. I'm going to add that in a minute to cart. Within the box, I get options of matted prints. I need to choose here how I want my matted prints finishing. I want them a black matte with a white core. But you can see we do have other options of a white mount with a white core, or a black mount with a black core, or a white mount with a black core, polar white or beige. But this is the options that I want. I want a black mount with a white core. Also, as I come down, the paper types that I can have. I can have luster, beautiful Fuji paper. I can have beautiful gloss paper, or I could have metallic paper. Now, I happen to know I do want luster, so I'm not going to change that. Within this product range as well, you could also have no image on the front, but a full wrap of various materials, buckram or leather, and for more information on that, please have a look at our website or our full product brochure. So I'm really happy with that now. I'm going to add it to cart. Up here, you'll see it's created my product. Absolutely delighted. And that bit is ready to order. So now I need to order the matted prints. I come down here. And I bring this my images all the way back. Um, that has populated that first matted print with the image I used on the front cover. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to use it and simply I add it to cart. And you'll see that's gone two items. I'm going to use this image here. 
gorgeous boy. I can swim him around if I like. It's up to you, but I think that's a yeah, gorgeous boy. I'm going to use him. Then I simply just go along, keep adding these to cards. These are the images I've selected. I've already edited them. I've cleaned them up. I am simply adding these to cart to order. Up here, I will need to get to 11 items because that will be the box and the 10 matted prints. So keep going along. Keep adding the images. Doing this as quickly as I can. And the last image there. Bang. So up here, 11 items, which will be the cover and the matted print. Let's go to the car and have a little look. So there I'm right, it's the 10 by 8, 10 by 8 photo cover box. That's brilliant. And the matted prints that I've selected. Okay, that's the creation of the product done. I just now simply need to order it. Do I want Color World Imaging to color correct my images? Yes, they always have in the past. I want them to continue doing it. Or I get the option of do not color correct. Other bits and pieces here, instructions. Do I want to send a little note to the lab? about something specific? Do I want to, is it my first order? Would I ask them to check? Is the notes that I need to send? By all means, fill in some instructions for us here and they will be read. Do I have a promotional code for this particular product? If so, please put it here. Do I know and have I got it my customer reference number? If you do know it and you've got it, please put it there. But I'm really ready to order this product now. I'm going to check out. Right, how do I want to get this to my home? Do I want a Royal Mail, first class post? Do I want a, a special delivery? Do I want a courier to get it to me? Or am I fortunate enough to live overseas? I'm really lucky that I live very close to the lab, so I'm gonna go and collect it. But select how you want it here. And then I do need to fill in a few more details because this goes to um, different departments within the business and I need to make sure they can all contact me should they want to quickly and easily. My first name. This does get slightly easier the second and third time you use it because it remembers who you are. Um, and I've created it using these details. Um, I personally live in West Yorkshire, so I've, I've created my account like that. And Great Britain. Right, that's that done. Right, how do I pay? Um, do I have a, a, an approved monthly account at Colour World Imaging? No, I don't. Um, do Colour World Imaging have my credit card on file? No, they don't. Would I like Colour World Imaging to contact me for payment prior to dispatch? Yes, I would. So I'm going to tick that. And I put my number down again. And my name. My account number. And just to help them again. My email address. Next. Okay, how to do it? Chip to, is it coming to me? Yes, it absolutely is. How am I going to pay for it? The business is going to contact me for payment prior to dispatch and they have all my details. All I do now is simply click that. The order will be uploaded and I will get an email into my inbox shortly saying that it's been received. Thanks very much for watching this how-to video. My name's Nick Proctor. Thank you for watching.